Anyway, let's talk about some sadness, shall we? Yeah. It's not Jack's <laughs> love life this time. It's oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh. thanks. Oh. <sighs> it's been working on that since we've been inside uh, oh, in the I car. I can tell that's been brewing for quite some time. When are you signing up for him for six Well, you've al- you've already said the uh, you've already. Call, you were calling me an old man all last night because good, he yeah, Instagram point, live, actually. so I had to get you back at some And point. to be fair, you called up both old men on, a, on your solo episode. I did. I Bear did. in mind, technically, like, you're, like, only four, we're four, four years apart. Yeah. And we're five years apart. Yeah. You're old. So some sadness about Mark McGuinness going back. This is... The sack the manager! Yes! <laughs> the man who wanted him back. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And he didn't play, and he's not registered because nope. there's something about Red the, basically FIFA haven't. So the EFL have lifted, lifted it. it. FIFA, on the other hand, haven't. Because FIFA, so, this is the first time this sort of thing has happened, and FIFA themselves will want to make an example of this. Yeah. They will not want to let clubs know if this situation ever happens again that they can off, get off lightly with not. Fulfilling their so, agreement. So now what's happening so, is they're, they're worried that I was worried about last season, right? Part of me now is if he's not coming back anyway, he's just going to train with them. Yeah. I also find that weird because technically, yeah. do we, are we still paying his wages? That's a good question, actually. Technically, we are because he's technically been re If he's not yeah. been re-registered with Cardiff, the, yeah. with Cardiff because FIFA aren't allowing it, are we technically still paying his wages because he should be back at Wednesday right now? Yep. If that's the case, Chantiri, lawyers, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, also, it's, also a case, it's also a case of... I actually, I think the bloke speaks really well. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of, I think he's got a great personality for, for, for footballers because it's not always, you, you, you've seen a few footballers on podcasts or, or interviews like, yeah, but like he seems to have a good head on his shoulders. He seems like, a, he seems like a, 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 a great potential and I kind of want him to go and play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because if you think about it from an, uh, I was going to say an England perspective, the didn't problem, he represent uh, he's, I, he, 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 he's, he's Irish, yeah. But isn't he, Northern. He's he's from London. Isn't he I'm pretty sure he's from both. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying. He speaks with a southern accent. If I, so. if any player for a centre back that could develop at that age that could get if Harry Maguire <laughs> right, right, let, got into the England squad. Let's just remember what we've done here, though. We've Mark, don't make your decision yet. Hang on, is he making opinions? Carry on. Again, with a centre back on loan. This is the thing we do this all the time. Why can't we just get this centre back position sorted and buy someone? To be honest as well, I, w- I was going to even say, when we go up, ha ha ha, not to shoot ourselves in the foot if we don't, but yeah, when we go up, as again, this is another thing that's been annoying me, is that people have got out of thin air that Chancery doesn't have any money and we Who? can't spend any money. That Chancery. 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 The Chancery doesn't have any money. And wow, we- you're in the room with me for one day and you already start talking like me. Well done. That oh, it's because my dad always used to say chancery, so I oh, but because chancery, <laughs> so it was just ingrained on me from him. All right, so chance chancery, um, there's this thing that everybody keeps saying, just like with the championship wages, that he's got no money to spend, and that we're skint, that we're more skint than we were under mi- Mr. Mandarich. And where is this coming from? We he's he's loaded. The man is like. Got he, s- he got Wednesday at the wrong got, point. Yes. If yes. he got Wednesday at the time QPR got, then they went on their massive yes. spending spree, it'd be a different story. But again, we can afford to buy Mark McGuinness in the summer, should we go up. We can and we can't. In League One, no, because, you know, budgeting EFL. But reasons, we can and but... we can't, though, because mm-hmm. we's already shown how good he is. Yes. This is the problem. Ah. We've made a player so good so they could go, hey, you've made him really good. You know how we want a 1.5 million? Well, we want, we want 3.5 or 3.5 or whatever, yeah. This is the problem now because when we get players, we have a, the ability to make players look good, which is great for the parent clubs. Mm-hmm. But then when we want to buy them, we then shoot ourselves in foot because chances we won't overspend anymore. No. He's not going to do stupid things because even if we go up to the championship, we, well, when, hopefully, we still need to do a massive rebuild because no one's saying that this squad right now is a championship squad. Last season, we kept some players that could have been a championship squad. This season, not. He's in the last year of his contract next season. Mm. It oh, runs out in 2024 um, summer. Oh, it's, so it's, what's the age that you have to pay a mandatory fee? Is that he's fine? No, he's, 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 oh, he's, he's, he's 23 because just... he's 22 now. Oh. So this time next year, because he was born on the 5th of January, mm. looking at this. 
he will be 23, which is yeah. the age where you don't have to have pay to any pay compo. contracts and all that. So jazz. if his contract runs out, it, basically Cardiff will need to sell him next, next summer. Mm-hmm. And the, they, they in the summer, are ideally. Cash wrapped up yes. Well. If they don't sell him this summer, they'll get a year out of him, which might be ideal because if they drop, which mm. is but, likely, yeah. that he'd be good for him. So he'll probably stick around, but the safe thing to do for them for, mo- for money is cash out on him yeah. in his last year in his contract. Yeah. You probably... Well, I'd say if that happens, on, if it gets to summer, throw two million at him. And it all depends on who they're getting in manager. If we go Neil up. Warnock comes back into management to them, he won't yeah, sell it. There are rumours, isn't there, yeah. that he's, he's coming out of retirement to go back to Cardiff. That's you the know every time he comes around. out of retirement, do you know why it is? No. His wife is annoyed at him being at home. <laughs> 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 well, I just... Oh, I know it's controversial to say, but I actually do quite like him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, really I know. Like. It's really weird. And it's... I don't like the fact that I like him. But, yeah. uh, but then his whole fa- apparently his whole family are Wednesday fans, yeah. and because of that, he chose to support United. Yeah, that's just level. And, and, I, I, and I, do like his, I do like his thing is that he doesn't want a round of applause. He wants to be booed. Yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> that I he doesn't want Wednesday fans to pl- clap him ever. Can you imagine doing that in spite? But then part of the reason why United actually had a really good run of success was because, because of, of him. Because of him, yes. That's just... <laughs> yeah, but make them with the same. Mm. It's just mental when you think about it that way. 